it's John here. First things first, I want to say thank you so much to everybody who's been tuning in weekly for our streams. On Wednesday we do an Instagram stream, Saturday we do a gaming stream on our channel, and then Sunday we stream video games on UGN, United Gaming Nation. So we just want to say thank you uh, to you guys for checking all those out. It's so much fun hanging out with you. And thank you for you know watching our releases that we're putting out uh, pretty much every Monday. Um, we really do appreciate all the support and uh, please you know, like and comment on those videos. It really does help us out. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This week for the Video Vault, I'm going to be talking about the song off of Tremble known as Thought You'd Never Ask. Uh, and while I talk about it, I'm going to be changing the strings on my guitar. For all the guitar nerds out there, by the way, um, I'm going to go ahead and just go over the details of what I'm going to do. Uh, normally I run tens on my guitar. Uh, I have a seven string. I usually use Ernie Ball, Hybrid Slinky, or Regular Slinky. But these are just really solid strings for what I do. This week I actually found uh, seven string Cobalts. They're about twice as expensive. Never tried them before. I just figured if they're more money, maybe they're, there's something about them that I'll like better. So I'm trying those out this week. And then uh, Always, I recommend this to anybody playing guitar. If you're changing your strings, while they're off, put on fretboard cleaner. Um, just get a rag, spray this on, and then, you know, it'll just clean up your fretboard. It, it'll make it last longer. And then finally, I have like a little knob on my guitar that's making some noise, so I'm going to clean it up with this pretty much near the very end. It's just an electronic parts cleaner. So, let's get into it. I think I can speak for everybody in the band when I say that Thoughts You'd Never Asked seems particularly special to each of us um, and really all for similar reasons I think uh, when we first started creating we made songs like fire and for now and it really turned out that we loved the way that we wrote together but by the time that Sadie had joined I think our writing prowess had kind of grown together in a way that none of us expected and Thought You'd Never Ask was really the litmus test for this. And once we started writing that, that was the song that we really ventured out for the first time into differing song structure and different ideas for how to weave the melody with darker uh, chord progressions and things like that. So Thought You'd Never Ask was really our biggest artistic venture of the time. And I think we all really appreciate that. We affectionately called it the um, song with the really long bridge. <laughs> so that gives you the idea of kind of it being in its own category. Taina in particular is something that I kind of treated as a baby as well. And we all kind of worked together to build this mythos, essentially. There's a consistent storyline to the album. And Taina is if we're talking about the hero's journey, the low point. After CSM, it rings out and there's a time jump essentially in the storyline. Thoughts You Never Ask becomes the uh, flash forward into the future after the breakup song, checking in on the hero to see how he's doing. And uh, it doesn't seem to go very well for that fellow. So I think Thoughts You Never Ask was really at least the beginning lyrics were my brainchild because I wanted to create this storyline behind, you know, this guy who goes through the ringer and then he doesn't learn the proper lesson from it. And um, we end up giving it more of a happy end, debatably, but I think it's such an interesting dip into that and habit is the song right after it and it's more so reinforcing the bad behaviors that he's fallen into and so uh when we got to writing the bridge i had no ideas i was kind of burnt out after the very wordy verses <laughs> and sadie killing the melody as always um and the lyric writing showed up to practice with lyrics the next time that we had uh, a writing session and I was ecstatic when I heard them. I remember saying something to her about, you are inside my head right now in terms of what I'm thinking for this song and how I want the storyline to go. And so from there, we just kind of, you know, kept writing and, and felt it all out. And 
that's how we got the song that you know today. Thank you guys so much for watching again. It really means a lot to us that you guys check this stuff out and keep up with us. And we love chatting with you. Um, so don't forget to like and comment and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Catch us on Saturdays on this channel for gaming and Sundays on UGN. And catch us on Instagram on Wednesday. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye.